Hello everyone, this is Dr. Kim. So in today's video, I want to uh, show you an interesting case involving the patient's uh, right maxillary sinus. This case was originally scanned for an implant at the site uh, number five. Uh, from this axial image, you can see number five, first premolar is missing. And this area has uh, now been healed enough to receive a dental implant. However, while assessing this volume, um, I found that the maxillary sinus uh, was partially opacified. And um, this, this, this opacification is unique from many other types of uh, uh, opacities that I may have shared in the prior videos that uh, you can see, let's see if I can brighten up the screen a little. You can see that there is a very flat horizontal line across the maxillary sinus. Also, it's important to keep in mind that this patient was standing upright at the time of the scan, not laying down like some uh, CB CBCT scans are designed for. So again, this line is very flat and horizontal, parallel to the floor. And uh, toward the distal aspect, you can see some aerosol, uh, aerosolized secretions as well. So let me show you the entire medial and distal aspect of this opacification. And also, we can start from the anterior aspect and move posteriorly. So this example here is what's called uh, air fluid level. And when you see this, this is a very strong uh, radiographic evidence for acute sinusitis. Um, so that, that's basically what I wanted to show. But another kind of interesting uh, feature that you see from this coronal view is that uh, the maxillary torus has grown um, in an asymmetric uh, fashion so that the right side is larger than the left side. So I thought uh, we see that from time to time, but I thought that was interesting in case uh, you haven't seen that in Kongbing CT. So there is that asymmetric uh, appearance of the maxillary torus. Well, that's it for this video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.